Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are back with the Conway family, Brooke and her son, Jack. In the last episode, we bought a house. So we now no longer live in the big city of San Myshuna. We've instead opted for a quieter life in Brindleton Bay. I'm gonna put the fast speed on, seeing as they're both asleep. We finished off the last episode by purchasing a lottery ticket. Will it pay off? Who knows? Who knows? We're also two cats down, so we still have Crystal and her son Dennis, but her two girls, Cookie and Luna, have found a new forever home with our parents. They probably have Brooke's old bedroom now. Just grab some leftovers, maybe. So yeah, the last video pretty much all about just moving house, really. We moved here, we had a little housewarming party. It was pretty cute. Good time had by all. For today's video, I would like to focus on a couple of things. Um, so we have our career. We chose a branch, so we're now master of the real. So we're at career level seven, not far off from maxing the career. In fact, why don't we just do a little painting now just to get our daily task done. I also thought it might be quite nice if we could work on our aspiration, the super parent one. You'd have thought by now we would be at parenting level four, but no, apparently we're only parenting level two. So maybe we'll try and get this page done and make some progress in our aspiration at least. And also, it would be nice if our boyfriend Patrick could maybe move in. So I'm thinking what we could do is, well, Jack's kind of, he's met Patrick a few times, he's played basketball with him, did a bit of bike riding with him, so I think Jack does like Patrick. But it might be nice if we did a little family outing, maybe went bowling or something. Just to make sure Jack's comfortable with Patrick moving in. And that's pretty much the plan. He's just carrying on the lives of these two Sims. Oh, you did a masterpiece. Well done. Worth 1,500. Not bad going at all. Oh yeah, Jack's still afraid of the dark. Haven't quite managed to overcome that fear yet, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, Brooke, you've done your paintings. You get some sleep. And then Jack... I'm gonna send you to bed as well. Actually, before I do that, let's just brush your teeth, just in case it makes you confident while it's night time. He does have a confident mood buff from doing his homework, so maybe if we can get you even more confident, then I can send you outside. Ugh, no, not confident enough, just focused. Okay, fine, clean the litter box and go to bed. Oh, he's confident, quick Jack, go outside. Okay, we're confident in the dark. I know we're afraid of the dark. I don't know why that fear thing is gone. It'd be handy if it was here. Okay, we'll just go take a nap then. Didn't really do anything to help. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Oh, brilliant. Let's appease the gnome with coffee? That seems to be the only thing Jack cares about anyway. Does the gnome like coffee? Oh, no. Okay, plea for forgiveness. You're just a child. Come on, gnome. It's just a child. Oh my god. We pled for forgiveness and got struck by lightning. What an evil gnome. I can't believe the gnomes are watching. You evil little fucker. Right, I am selling you. You can fuck right off, demon spawn. At least Jack celebrated Harvest Fest, so there we go. Um, do we have time to just quickly be thankful before Jack goes to school? I mean, he is going to school. You're not having the day off just because it's Harvest Fest. Okay, Jack's off to school. Have a good day, Jack. Ah, oh, so peaceful. Okay, what should we offer to appease the gnome this time? A toy, maybe? What's the matter, Dennis? What's wrong? Dennis is in need of attention. Oh, okay, fine. We'll give you some pets and some cuddles and some treats. I guess we don't have work today. Maybe at 10 o'clock it'll give me the option to go in. Just fill up that cat bowl. Maybe send a little text to Patrick. Wish him a good morning. Okay, we can go to work. Let's go. The results are in and the lucky lotto winner is Eliza Pancakes. Of course it is. Never fucking me, is it? Never. I have never, ever won the lottery. Okay, Jack, I know you're tired. Why don't you just go to bed? I may as well sell these gnomes now. I don't need them. We've, we've done that little holiday tradition. Oh, I think we've got a day off tomorrow. That'll be nice. We deserve a day off. Hey, we've been promoted to professional painter. Oh, you're tired. Okay, fine. Go to bed. So we're now at career level eight, but we are working tomorrow now, although I think I might just take the day off. I think we need a break. We're starting to get burnt out again. We need a little break, I think. Okay, how about we cook a grand meal, we'll just do a ham dinner, and then Jack, you can come clean out the spoiled food, just so you both don't get the strop on for not celebrating Harvest Fest adequately. At least Brooke has fun while she's cooking. That's a nice bonus. Okay, grand meal done. Oh dear. 
You're feeling a little bit under the weather, Jack. Maybe we should get you changed. You're not you when your face is missing. There we go. Okay, can we try and sleep a full night, please? We have yet to have one full night's sleep without one of you waking up in the middle of the night for no good reason. Okay, right, Brooke, I am going to get you on the phone. You're taking a vacation day, girl, because you deserve it. We're gonna have some fun today. We need level four logic skill. Okay, so I'm thinking, how about we hang out with Rachel for our day off? We're gonna go to the gym for a little workout sesh. And then maybe we'll go to the park and play some chess, because we do still need a few, a couple of logic skill points. I don't think it'll be too difficult to get those. Okay, I think maybe let's just change into our active wear, which is currently our, still our cheerleading outfit. And let's go for a workout. Let's go for a run on the treadmill, shall we? We're going to really make the most of our day off. We're going to have a gym sesh. We're going to go to the park, spend some quality time with Rachel. I mean, we are good friends, even though technically we shouldn't be because we've got bad compatibility. Maybe we'll make small conversation with some of the people at the gym. Sapria? Oh, she's uncomfortable. Isn't everyone at the gym uncomfortable? Isn't that the whole point? Oh, she fancies me. I can't say I blame her. Oh, I'm going to introduce myself to this sim. I see her around all the time in my other games and there's just something about her that I think is so badass. So maybe we'll hang around the gym until like lunchtime and then we'll go to the park and then I think that will be day off well spent. Oh no! That's right, you jump straight back on, don't even hesitate. That's what I like about you, Brooke, you're a fighter. I think Sapri is now coaching us. Oh, she's given up. Well done! Oh, you want to go on another treadmill? I thought maybe you'd try and shake it up a bit, try something new, but I guess not. We know what we like. Where did Rachel go? We should, um, we should probably take a shower. Rachel hasn't done a single workout since we got here. She's just been gassing. Cheerful. Oh, yeah, we'll be cheerful. Okay, well, it's 12 o'clock, I think. Let's head over to the park. Let's see if we can get those logic skills we need. What do we need again? Level four. We need two logic skills. Yeah, and then we'll be ready for a promotion, which I would like to get today. I don't think we'll reach the top of the painter career today, but we will at least try and get to painting level nine. Or painter level nine. We've already maxed out the painting skill. Oh, we, we're staying in the towel, are we? We just wanted to get some attention today. Yeah, I don't blame you. Don't blame you. Let's go and play chess together. Oh, we're focused already in a perfect mood. Okay, this is really good. We're already almost at level three, so really we only have to gain one and a bit skill point. I thought we'd start with nothing, but there we go, logic level three already. So we just have to gain one more skill point. Catherine is calling. What a surprise. Cut the court. Oh, Jack can surely enjoy the weekend knowing he's one of the top students at Landgrab Elementary. Oh, why are so many of you guys watching? Are you like cheering us on or something? Logic level four. Okay, right. Well, Jack's going to be home from school already. So I guess we better head home. All of my daily tasks are done. Although we don't have work until Sunday, but that's fine. That's fine. We're ready for a promotion anyway, when we do eventually go back. Maybe then um, with our downtime, we'll see if we can get somewhere with our aspiration. What I might do is we will invite Patrick over and then we'll serve dinner. We'll just make something nice for everybody. How about a little stir fry? We can have dinner together and then maybe tonight we'll do a nice little family activity and we'll see how we get on building a tree house for little Jack. Oh, here he is. In fact, you know what? Patrick, I might just give you some residence keys. That's not quite letting you in, but it's opening the door slightly so that Jack can get used to you being around. I might have Jack just come and do a few interactions with Patrick, just to try and, you know, become friends. I don't think they are friends yet. Yeah, they're still just acquaintances. So Patrick definitely can't move in until they're, you know, at least friends. He seems to be pretty good with the kids. You know, quite enthusiastic, quite nice. Oh no, the cats are inside each other. Guys, how many times do I need to tell you to get off the counters. I'm gonna lecture them both and then call to meal. Are we still gonna get attitude from Dennis? Oh, one of them's learned. Which one? Okay, well, I am going to form a group with Jack and Patrick. 
I don't know why Catherine was included. I don't know if she's decided to just pop by. But that woman needs to learn some boundaries. Build treehouse together. That's how we're going to spend our Friday night. I have to, at some point, discipline Jack five times, which isn't really in our nature. I don't really want to do that, but I do want to get somewhere in this aspiration, so I guess I could. I might just see if I can discipline him five times in a row tomorrow and just get it out of the way. Because that's not really what Brooke would want to do. <laughs> Jack, you helping? Or are you just going to stand there watching? I guess he's the, he's the supervisor. He's overseeing the treehouse build. He is building his mental skill, I guess, by overseeing the project. Oh, it's coming together. We've got the decking. The floor's done. We just need the little house in the corner. Maybe Jack can... Oh, actually... I was going to say maybe Jack can sleep in here tonight, but I don't want him sleeping in here by himself. So maybe tomorrow he can invite his little friend Trevor over and they can sleep in the treehouse, maybe. I know you're really tired, but we've almost finished this treehouse. In fact, once you're done, I will queue up, use the bathroom. Oh, look at that. Pretty much done. I'll queue up to use the bathroom. Woohoo with Patrick and then you can go to sleep, okay? Oh no, Patrick's going to get going. Wait, I think we're asking the question right now, actually, so... Yeah, okay, Jack, go and um, use the bathroom, and maybe, maybe I'll just uh, send you to bed, perhaps, <laughs> so you don't overhear anything you shouldn't overhear. Or actually, go and sleep in the enclosure, there you go. You won't have any monsters under the bed that way. And it'll help you with your fear of the dark, too. I wonder if he gains fun from sleeping in the treehouse. No, seems like a bit of an oversight there. Would have been good if they could have gained fun from doing that. Oh, is, is Patrick left? Yeah. Oh no, he's there. Is he going to stay the night? I think so. I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Oh, I mean, I was kind of working up to that, so I'm going to say yes. It's a little bit sooner than what I had initially anticipated, but, you know, you get on with the kid. So, fuck it. Why not? Why not? Welcome to the family, Patrick. So I noticed I had the option to take a pregnancy test there. So I guess we'll go and see what that's all about. We didn't try for a baby, so we should be fine. I mean, I've got my RPO mod, Relationship and Pregnancy Overhaul, which does mean there's a chance of pregnancy, but it's quite low, so I think we're fine. Oh shit, we're not fine. Brooke is pregnant. Genuinely wasn't expecting that, but you know, it's not exactly a bad thing. Patrick, why don't you just come back to bed? I'm sure he's gonna be thrilled. Pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing. Oh no, morning sickness. Brooke has woken up with morning sickness. Already? I mean, you only just, you only just woohooed. Just throw it up, get it out, get it out of your system. I can't be having this interrupting our sleep. You've been a nightmare to keep happy anyway when it comes to energy. I hope we can still go to work. Yeah, we have work on Sunday, which is tomorrow, so. I mean, we'll be going to work pregnant, but there's no reason why we shouldn't get a promotion. And Patrick, seeing as you're awake, maybe clean the bathroom and use the bathroom and then grab some food. Aww, she's come into the bedroom to look at Jack's little shoes. That's cute. Very cute. Right, let's get some leftovers. Oh, are you going to throw up again? Oh dear. Okay. Might be a good thumbnail, actually. The vom pick. Okay, just go and grab some leftovers um, and then clean the bathroom, clean the toilet. We only have two hours left of morning sickness. So I'm thinking we could do a fun family activity today, like going bowling or something. But before we do that, I don't really want to leave the house while you have morning sickness. So let's try and use this opportunity to hmm, maybe discipline Jack. Oh, I really don't want to, though. But fine, I'll get him to make a mess. Okay, we will calmly discipline his behaviour. Okay, and then Jack, you can make another mess. This is your act of rebellion, acting up for having a new house guest. Oh, announce news of pregnancy. Shit, yeah. We'll have to tell Jack that he's going to be a big brother. He might even act up even more after that. And then again, we will calmly, very calmly, ask him not to make a mess. We'll just softly, softly... Okay, you know what, Patrick? Um, Patrick, you could probably come in handy, make yourself useful, maybe clean up some of this stuff, fill up the cat bowl. Okay, we will go and discipline him one more time, and then that should be job done. And then we'll... Oh, there we go, level four! We've just made it to... Cool! 
Offspring Instructor. So now we're on our third page, aren't we? This is the third page. Yeah. Achieve level six parenting skill and help a child with schoolwork for four hours. And we've already done two. Okay, let's let's say sorry now for ever telling you off. Ask if Jack wants a sibling. Please say yes. We'll say Jack likes gossip. Please tell me you want a sibling, Jack. Oh, that looked like a... Brooke asked Jack whether he would like to have a new sibling. Yes. I'm going to make him say yes. He's been an only child for so long now. Okay, announce news of pregnancy. Oh, he's really happy. Okay, now clean up that mess. So you have a few tasks that you have to do. Review diagnostics and write product report, which you need a computer for. Okay, maybe I can get you to do your work from home assignments. Because you do still have to work. And then Brooke, maybe what we'll do while we wait for Patrick to do his little daily tasks is I can get Jack to do his homework and then Brooke, you can come and help him. We might get a few brownie points. We might even get to page four of our aspiration. Who knows? Help with homework. I might just change you, Brooke, into <laughs> one of the... Maybe that cool outfit we got off trendy. Oh, no, it's in my, it's in my inventory, isn't it? We'll just wear, we'll wear our trendy outfit. I don't think we've worn it since we first bought it. Okay, homework complete. Brooke, why don't you go and take a nap so that you're a little bit, a little bit more well rested? Because I was thinking we could go bowling maybe. I can hear like musical lullabies and I don't know why. I think it's, um, I think it's the stereo. Yeah, it was the stereo. I'll put some of these seeds in Jack's inventory because I think it would be nice if one day maybe we'll get him interested in gardening and he could have his own plants out in the garden. Take a shower, maybe take another nap until Patrick finishes work. Hopefully it won't take him too long and then we'll see if we can do like a fun, fun night of bowling maybe. Oh, oh. Our phone's ringing, I bet it's Catherine. Of course it fucking is. Not now, Catherine. Okay, Patrick's finished his daily task. Perfect. Let's take everyone then. Maybe we'll take Trevor as well as like a nice little treat for Rachel because Rachel had Jack one time for us. So maybe we'll take the two kids and we'll go bowling. Here we go. Rock and bowl bowling alley. Gallery special. Okay. How about we do invite to bowl. We'll do a five frame game somewhere in the middle with... Oh, how come, how come we can't invite Brooke? Can only three people do it? Oh, pregnant people can't do it. Okay, that's fine. Um, we could just have a bowling, we could just have a bonding session with Patrick and the boys. And Brooke, seeing as you're pregnant, maybe you could just come play some arcade games? Still something fun for you to do. Okay, so whose turn is it first? Who's gonna go first? Oh, Patrick's going first, I guess. Oh, oh, so embarrassing, Patrick. Come on, get it together. I really don't think we needed a whole bowling skill. I mean, I get why there is a bowling skill to kind of somewhat justify a stuff pack, but I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to have a bowling skill. But there we go. Oh dear. Okay, whose go is it next? Trevor? Jack? Oh, it's Jack's turn next. Go on, Jack. Is Jack going to be any better? No. God, it's so bright in here. Oh, you've got the sides up now, Jack, so you should get something. Let's see how you do. Oh, you got one. There we go. Better than nothing. Is that Catherine? Again? Did you find out where I was going and stalk me out? Well, I suppose it's not too bad that you are here because we kind of need to tell you something. We have some big news that you'll probably be interested to hear. This time, you've got a pregnant daughter and you actually know about it. How times have changed, eh, Catherine? Oh, she didn't really seem to give much of a shit, to be honest. She just walked away. Oh, okay. I guess you've started your own little bowling club with Dina Caliente, Nina Caliente, and Don Lothario. So, suit yourself then, I guess. Are you guys still bowling? Yeah. She does have a fine mood buff, but I can't actually see from her mood buffs what trimester she's in. I mean, she's probably first trimester still, but... Okay, well, everyone's getting a bit hungry. This game is going on quite a while. Hopefully it's not too much longer. All right, it's 10 o'clock at night. I think we should probably cut it short now. I think Trevor's left already. So let's just go home, grab some food. Brooke still has work in the morning, so we might just get to that career level nine. Okay, how about everyone just grab some leftovers? How's the kid doing? I mean, his needs aren't too bad, really. 
Okay, Brooke, you can just go to bed because you are fine, except a bit tired. And Jack... Actually, you know what, Brooke, maybe come and spray the monster under the bed and then go to bed. Okay, Jack, happy in every way except tired. Brooke, happy in every way except tired. And, I mean, you're fine, Patrick, but I'm going to send you to bed anyway. There we go. Okay, Jack, I'm going to have you brush your teeth and maybe we'll try and get you confident. I mean, we do have a little bit of... Oh, actually, I was going to maybe see if Brooke could help with homework, but the kid's already done his homework, so there's not really much point. We do need to, at some point, turn this spare room into a little baby room. Maybe that'll be something for the next episode. Oh, Vernon's calling. I have a crush. No. That's the only time, literally, the only time our dad calls is when he asks our opinion on him getting laid. Such a selfish bastard. Okay, well, Brooke's gonna go to work. Good luck, Brooke. And then I think what might be fun is I'm gonna send Patrick and Jack to go volunteering. Could do with some empathy. Go and volunteer in a nursing home. And then afterwards we can walk to fight disease. Brooke wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. Should she order it online or make a present? Oh God, I don't know. Let's say make something, because we're pretty artistic. Performance gain, there we go. An elderly Sim grabs Jack's arm and starts telling him stories about his youth. Listen to the elderly Sim stories. Jack was trapped into a long conversation with, an, with the elderly Sim and was so bored he fell asleep. When he woke up, he... There was a note from the elderly Sim. Didn't anyone ever teach you it's rude to nap when others are talking? Oh no, Jack lost some manners. Well, what was the alternative then? Would he have gained manners if I told him to just run away to the bathroom? Come on, be reasonable. Right, let's go to a bake sale. Oh, we're back and we just got a promotion, although we're pretty angry about it. The bake sale is not off to a good start and the bake sale coordinator is missing. The goods are not set up on the table, the crowds are not in a queue and the volunteers have been given no direction. I think Jack should take charge, he's a natural leader. He took charge and things started running smoothly. The baked goods were put out on display. Volunteers got clear direction and a new queuing system was developed that will revolutionise standing in line around the world. See, Jack's learning something. We are now career level 9. Look at that. So we need level 6 logic skill. We gain some responsibility. Okay, perfect. Well done, Brooke. She's got an irritable mood swing from her pregnancy. Well, Brooke, I think... I think on that note, that's probably a good time <laughs> to end this episode here. So I will. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.